Happening right now at 6, you're looking live as a town hall is set to begin. The topic is talking about turning a YMCA branch into affordable housing. And we're talking specifically about the DuPont Family YMCA Youth Development Center. This is off of Old Kings Road South in the San Jose area. A developer wants to tear the building down to build affordable housing in its place. Neighbors are pushing back against the proposal, citing traffic issues and concerns about their property values. News for Jack's reporter Tiffany Salome spoke with residents who are gathering for that town hall, hosted by their councilman right now, to discuss plans for the neighborhood. There's a proposal on the table to tear down this YMCA off of Old Kings Road and build more affordable housing. But that news is not sitting well with some residents who are here for a town hall tonight. We're going to have more traffic, more noise, more pollution probably, and it's going to it's going to affect our area. Fran Manili spent the weekend going door to door, handing out hundreds of these flyers to her neighbors. You know, I, I hemmed and hawed and I thought, well, if I don't do this, um, then I can't complain. She's concerned about the proposal to build affordable housing at the DuPont YMCA, which is just a few blocks from her longtime home. Some of her neighbors share the same worry. I really don't think that that's in the best interest of our community. Ideally, what I like to see is some type of maybe a library or a park for some of the children that are already here. Increased traffic, pedestrian safety, crime rates. And the, the point is, is while it's essential to avoid stereotypes, mm -hmm. and I'm not stereotyping anybody, studies have shown correlations between population density mm -hmm. and certain crime rates. The big concerns are preserving the character of the neighborhood, the potential infrastructure strain, and how affordable housing might impact property values. But leaders have been pushing for more affordable housing in Jacksonville as housing costs continue to rise. What we want right there is a community asset, something that benefits the neighborhood. Um, so that's the goal, and we got to figure out uh, whether that's this development, another development, or if things can be changed. Um, that's why we want to get everybody to the table in the first inning, uh, not the ninth inning. This YMCA facility has been closed for some time. The owners say it's because of low usage, and that's why they've decided to sell it for good. Reporting in San Jose, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station. Again, that town hall to talk about this proposal began at the top of the hour. There you see Councilman Carlucci. We have got a crew there, but we'll bring you an update on the 10 o'clock news.